It really came from the idea of what type of fantasy Louis XIV would have. In 1991, I was invited to be in an exhibition for really kind of site-specific art. In the center of this town was a Baroque Schloss, and when I looked at this Schloss, I thought, oh, you know, this looks like a, a place Louis XIV, Louis XIV could live. And I thought, you know, if Louis XIV lived there, maybe one day he would wake up. And I thought about uh, my white terrier. It, this, it was a wooden model. I just made this for my uh, Made in Heaven series of work. And I thought, you know, maybe he'd want to see that model enlarged, but to see it uh, made out of, you know, 20,000 uh, live growing flowers. And it was a huge success. And I wanted to rebuild the piece. And uh, John Caldor came along and said, you know, Jeff, uh, I would like to, to do this. And one of my favorite photographs of all times, they had me in a cherry picker up on uh, the nose of the uh, puppy. You know, if I think about uh, a puppy and the motivations for it. it. It probably came from visiting uh, Baroque churches in Europe. Uh, this aspect of the different polarities, the symmetrical with the asymmetrical, uh, control giving up control, uh, the life cycle of uh, birth and death. And you know, the seasons do affect puppy. I mean, you will have uh, growth and you'll have young plants growing and they'll go in a certain moment, there's a peak. And then there's actually a decline that takes place. But at the same time, it's communicating us uh, the grace of uh, humanity and the grace of, of life cycle and the acceptance of moving on and the continuation of a journey.